Good morning everyone. I've got something I want to show you. It's been a few days since I've shot a video because I've been trying to catch up, make sure all the editing is done. It's almost there, but not quite yet. So this turned up in the post. It is a gift. I have not bought this, just for full disclosure, but I am very excited. Ooh. Ooh, wow. This is gonna revolutionize my usage of the frunk. <laughs> it's gorgeous. So, you get my car a bit more organized because my car can be a bit of a mess. I cut a lot of stuff around in it. And where something like this really comes into its own is in the fact that you can load it in the house and then just take it out to the car and plonk it in and it all just fits nice and smartly. So it kind of, closes that gap between the convenience of packing in the house and the space efficiency of loading things directly into the car. Let's give it a go. Took it out, so. Ooh, let's see. Oh, gorgeous bag. Yeah, they're good at presentation, aren't they? Yeah. Is that a new bag? It's exactly the right size and shape to actually go in the, the front. You see oh, what wow. I mean? So it just plonks right into the front. Yeah. So this is the idea with the front luggage. You just pick this up, plonk it into the car. What we're about to do is have some lunch with guests. So I'm gonna do that. See you in a minute. Lunch is over, we're gonna try the luggage now. Oh, luckily the bonnet of my car is not covered in snow. It's freezing by the way, and if anyone's wondering why I'm not wearing a coat, it's because the coat's actually in one of the bags to try and, you know, poof it up a little bit. Ah, uh -huh. see. Well, we're not gonna need this. Now apparently, although I have a much larger frunk than the older cars, it should all fit perfectly just in the front. That is so awesome. Sweet. I love it, it's, the, it's that made to measure thing. Right, now I'm gonna get my coat out because uh, I'm freezing enormous amounts of room. And obviously I've, I've got extra room at the back because I've got the big frunk, but if you were to have a normal sized Tesla Model S frunk, then this would obviously not be here and these would just fit in the front. And these little ones as well, perfect for a few bottles of wine and some food maybe. Ah, oh, it's enough to make me want to go on a road trip. Yeah, that's what I should do, go on a road trip. Now you're probably wondering why there's like a bit of snow in the background and uh, I'm shivering. Suddenly, for some reason, we found ourselves back in the dead of winter. It's the middle of March, it's supposed to be spring. Security. Have to do it from the key now. There we go. So this goes. I've got the wrong side. I was sent two and I've actually got the premium sound, so that means I can only make use of one of them. Right, I've got the right one now. So this just fits in perfectly here. <laughs> that is so awesome. It would actually fit in better if I didn't have a cable underneath. Oh. Oh. I think they're going to actually do one for this little bit under here as well at some point. Now you see that is the perfect place to put electric skateboard chargers and remote controls and things like that. Yeah. Okay, I can't feel my hands. I'm going to go inside. Thank you very much, Oscar and Hamish, though, for these bags. Such a good idea. Can't wait to give them a proper go. These are perfect for us, aren't they? Because oh, you can yeah. fill these yeah. like up in the bedroom, and then I can just plunk them in the front. Yeah. And then I can use the back for things like bikes and skateboards. Oh, your shoes. Yes, yes. I don't know if you guys can see. I've, I'm wearing my Oscar and Hamish shoes. It's an Oscar and Hamish day, isn't it? Yeah. 
One thing is for sure, you're going to be seeing a lot more of these bags in my vlog. Hopefully, because <laughs> we need to have somewhere to go first. Hey, Jasper, we're going to go in Mummy's car, okay? We're going off to a party now. Oh, and so, by the way, I've changed the setting on my car so that you now have to use the key to unlock it for security inside. reasons, so the passive unlock doesn't work anymore. Joking, yeah, well, because remember I was telling you, because otherwise it's easy to nick the cars, apparently. Don't right. sit on the present. get partying and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the reasons why I've been struggling with the concept of daily recently because I think I know what it is spoiler alert jury service oh, in you go in 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 drag him drag him push him go on in in come out here for a few minutes to uh, collect my thoughts. It is pandemonium in there, as you would expect for a five-year-old's birthday party. I've been really struggling, and the reason I think that I've been really struggling is because I am not good with uncertainty as a character type. You know, I like to imagine, or maybe like is not the right word, but I tend to imagine the worst case scenario in any situation, and the problem with jury service for me is the whole thing is just a massive great unknown. I am struggling to deal with that on a on a mental, like subconscious level. No, I'm not talking about consciously. Consciously, yeah, fine, you know, I don't mind doing it and you know, do my civic duty, all the rest of it, perfectly happy, no problem. But subconsciously, it's kind of clouding my life and just making motivation and get up and go even more difficult than usual. So that's it, that's why for the next month or so, the daily vlog might be an every other daily vlog. Where's the boom? Um... Oh, don't do that, just mute Right, it. we're going home now. <laughs> Sorry, so if you put the music back on now. Uh -huh. Copyright reasons. Oh, Rosie, it's snowing still. This is shocking. Yep, yep, I'll come back and get you. I'll just open the house. Still can't believe it's March. Can't remember if I mentioned it in a previous video, but Tesla are hopefully, touch wood, going to be moving towards using Tesla vehicles as the service, you know, the Ranger vehicles that they use. Like, for example, when I had a, one of my door handles replaced outside, actually last year, when it was snowing, oh, that was cold too, very cold, poor guy, he had a van. He turned up in a great big diesel Ford Transit and it kind of doesn't shout 21st century Tesla, the next gen vehicle, you know, why are they in a diesel van? I personally would have thought that Model X would have made a better Ranger vehicle than Model S, but it turns out they can make one out of Model S as well, and I suppose they probably do have a fair few more of those at the moment, so maybe that does make sense. I hope, if I ever have a Ranger come out to me again, that they will turn up in a Tesla vehicle. Well, I've been having a bit of a think about this office because it's a bit sparse at the moment. I haven't quite worked out exactly how I'm going to do this, but this is the idea. Every time I meet someone new or do something new that I think will be fun and interesting, I'll stick the picture up on the wall. And that way, hopefully the office will have a little bit less of a kind of beige cave feel to it. Trying to think if there's any other updates. Hmm. While we're on the subject of space and using space efficiently, which is what those bags from Oscar and Hamish are brilliant for, the thing about the Model S is it's actually got an enormous amount of cargo carrying capacity. But sometimes the shapes of the available space are a little bit strange. Like for example, the frunk. It's actually enormous, but if you don't have bags that fit it properly, you can't make use of that space in an efficient way and somehow it feels a lot smaller. It's the same in the back actually because it slopes down quite steeply, so you can often find that a sort of a big square box, for example, won't fit. What we need is an estate version of the Model S, which somebody's actually made one of. It's been in the 
fully charged. I prefer the looks of the non-estate normal Tesla Model S and for my uses I think I can probably live without the extra headroom at the back there. I mentioned earlier I think about how I missed a few vlog posts because I've been trying to catch right back up with everything. Well I need to stay on top of everything which means I'm gonna have a very quick run. So before I forget uh, there is a referral discount if anyone else fancies getting themselves some frunk luggage. In terms of the vlog, it's a get ahead, stay ahead kind of problem. I have an unfortunate tendency to try and leave everything till the last second. What I'm trying to say is I'm going to have to go and do the editing for today's vlog post this evening so that tomorrow is free for having fun and actually shooting a decent video that's been properly planned and laid out. And you know, in a lot of ways, this daily vlogging thing is a little bit of a kind of self-medication for me. It takes what I enjoy and uses that as a carrot to encourage me to fix the things I'm not so good at, like being productive first thing in the morning and making sure I stay on top of things and talking to people and networking, soft skills, lots of things really. But that does mean that this is the end of today's vlog post. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you don't already and I will see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. That's the other slightly annoying thing, they gave me six weeks notice before the jury service starts which on the one hand is good because it gives you time to organise things and on the other hand it is not good because it gives you a lot of time to think about, you know, all those unknowns that... Yeah, I should really get proper mental health. Okay, right, go get a coffee now.